Good day. In this video number 8 and 9 and 10, we are going to conclude what the analysis we done in the first seven videos. So the first conclusion is that we are going to compare the median and the IQR. So one median of one category, again the IQR of another, and the other median from the forward, again the IQR of the back. So let's read the example, okay? So the median of the back here, if you bring it down, it lies outside the IQR of the forward. So at the same time, the median of the forward, if you goes up, it will be outside the IQR of the back. So this is how we're going to answer this question. The median weight of the back rugby player, the median weight of the back rugby players lies outside the IQR of the forward rugby player in kilogram. At the same time, the median of the forward rugby players also lies outside the IQR of the back rugby players. Because both the medium lies outside each other IQR, this is important, you need to say, I can conclude that back to the population, this is important because you don't know they do say back to the population, you may not get an achieve. Back to the population of all rugby players, the forward rugby players are heavier than the back rugby players. So remember, if, if as long as one or two or both the median lies outside the IQR of the other categories, then you can make the claim that one is bigger or one is heavier than the other. So now we're going to do the next conclusion that is called the half three quarter rule. This is to supplement what you have said before and this is how it goes. Okay, so half three quarter rule, it just look at the half, the median is half, so the median line here is half, and the upper quartile for the other category is three quarter. So if half is bigger than three quarter, then we can say that the forward is going to be heavier than the back. So let's read the example. The conclusion for the half three quarter rule. Half of the forward rugby player, so half the median here, is heavier than three quarter of the back rugby player. Hence, I can conclude, again, you must say the magic word, back to the population of all rugby players because you are interested in the population and not the sample we can claim that forward rugby players are heavier than the back rugby players remember you need to answer the question you post in the problem section hope you got it and we'll go through the second conclusion which is using the dbm and ovs in the next video cheers everyone and have a good day